Okay, I'll I'll tell I'll tell the Scientology story. I didn't say it was a bad thing. And for anyone who's not smart enough to know when I'm lying in my stories or not, everything I'm saying is exactly how it happened. More. No embellishment. This is exactly what went down. There, there's no embellishment needed because it's such a fantastic story. So I'm raw dogging Tom Cruise and he says, whoa, that's the biggest cock I've ever felt. You want to come to my club meeting a little later? And I said, hey, man, you know, I got dinner reservations. I'm not too sure. You know, let me just finish and, and we'll see how I'm feeling after, you know, because after you come, you get tired and you got to take a nap. And Tom says, ah, all right, all right, all right. Do your business. Fill me up and, you know, we'll get going. So I'm done with Tom Cruise, whatever, yada, yada, yada. And then I meet up with this weird, fucking weirdly shaped cat that I don't even know what color she was. Weird, like weird cat, man. Weird. Um, strange creature. Weird how? Weird. Like a five-year-old drew it, dude. Oh, there's a weird cat out here. Yep. Can someone tell me when he stops telling the truth? <laughs> Dude. Like Ethel, few more minutes of stalling so we can finish hiding the bodies. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, you guys almost done with that. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'll give you a few minutes. Yeah, just get the bodies out. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Okay, dude. So we're we're walking around Hollywood. Now you guys know if, if you've never been to LA, Hollywood is the worst place on the fucking planet. It's horrible. Everybody's drunk. You have some busted ass fucking Batman trying to shield pictures with some freaking Harley Quinn that looks like fucking Harley Ben because she came out of a freaking dumpster a few minutes ago. It's the worst place. It's just filled with families smoking cigarettes. Even the kids are smoking cigarettes. It's the worst place on the earth, dude. I love Los Angeles, but LA is so big and you can find some really shitty places and the shittiest of them all is Hollywood without a doubt. And it's awesome. It is the best place to go people watch because it is so fucked up and so gross. I don't recommend going to Hollywood to have like a good Hollywood experience. I recommend you going to Hollywood to feel better about your own life. You should go to Hollywood as a means to produce serotonin in your brain that makes you say, hey, <laughs> my life's not so bad. Only reason, Don dude. Ethel, can you stall for a few more hours? I haven't finished watching hers. Oh yeah, Sash, I got you, man. Thanks, dude. So me and Yan are walking around Hollywood, you know, just checking things out, and it's fun, like, you know, just people watching, whatever. And we're walking past like this one area, and we see all these people like dishing out these these cards. Like, what the fuck? And I have I have my hands full, so. They're, they're trying to give me this shit and like my hands are full. How the fuck am I supposed to grab it? So I'm already ticked off, dude. What is it? And obviously I can't grab it. Hands are full. Now they keep trying to give it to me. I'm walking down the street. So I just like push out my tummy. I, I Dude, I feel bad. I pushed out my tummy into this, this young guy because he was trying to give me this fucking pamphlet. And he just like was like, oh my, oh my, he literally said, oh, oh my, and, and pulled it back. So we keep walking. I'm like, dude, like, what the fuck is that? And she's like, man, yeah, you know, I don't know either. And we're walking and we're walking. And then I'm like, oh, yo, like this is the, the Scientology Center. And it's a huge building. It looks like a giant chapel. It, it, it looks kind of like a museum on the inside. It's beautiful. It's a, it's a beautiful building. It's a spectacle, dude. And Savi, thank you so much. So we roll up to the Scientology building and it has like this huge display of all the Dianetic books. Now, if you've never seen the Dianetic books, it's kind of like the Bible for Scientology. Written by, uh, what was his name? Ronald Hubbard or something like that. Yan was telling this story earlier. You have to put telling in quotation marks, dude. But thank you so much for two months. L. Ron Hubbard, yeah. If you've never seen the Dianetics book, it honestly looks sick. It looks like a magic card. 
It looks like if someone was writing science fiction, they would have written this book. Oh wait. That is what happened. It looked like one of those old like cheesy fantasy books, you know? Because it has like a sick like volcano exploding, erupting. It looks sick. It looks like, uh, who's that one author? Not, who's that one? His name like Anthony, Anthony Ryan. Is that more? I've read so many of his books. How do I not remember? You guys know who I'm talking about? Not Tolkien. He's like a younger guy. Chuck Tringle and Rand. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, Lord. Anthony Ryan, I think it's, it's something like that. Optimus Prime, yeah, 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 yeah. Cocker Tarleson. Pierce Anthony. The Grimm Brothers. Wait, how does it? John Madden. Dude, I'm going to say this guy's name and you guys are going to be like, oh yeah, I've, I've read his books before. Blood Song. Yo, dude, yeah, I love Blood Song. Who wrote that? Blood Song is one of my favorite books. Anthony fucking Ryan, baby. Let's fucking go. Dude, if you've never read Blood Song, I mean, it shits on GOT, in my opinion. Blood Song is fucking fire literally spreads GOT wide open raw dogs it dude blood song is so goddamn good is it a series yeah yeah it sure is okay okay not the point not the point so we're looking at these books and they look really sick because they're written in all these different languages and it's like you know they got one in Chinese they got one in Arabic they got one in German and it looks crazy because it's so like serene and peaceful on the inside. And you just know that whole building is filled with, well, crazy people, man. So it's this weird like mix of like, this is such a, a, a beautiful, clean looking area. These books are amazing looking, like truly a spectacle for the eyes. But you know, everything in there is bullshit, dude. More. It's almost entrancing, like to see something so beautiful wrapped up with so much bullshit it's it's incredible oh. it's kind of sick honestly so we're looking right we're looking at these books and i i start <laughs> i say yo dude you want to see me rip a fat vape cloud on this scientology building and Yen was like, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. So we just start ripping fat vape rips on this on the side of this Scientology building, pretending that we're like Xenu. <laughs> like she would ask, like, what time is it? And I would say, it is 40 million. <laughs> like we just totally like got rid of all, you know, modern uh systems of telling time. Just it is 40 million and all of a sudden freaking Jack Skellington slick back slick doggy fucker comes out of the Scientology oh. building looking like he just rolled out of some sort of coffin dude rolls up looks at, at me and her and says you guys ever seen a bookstore before and I said what and he said, a bookstore. And I said, no, what? And he said, a bookstore. And I said, yeah, we're looking at books. Oh. And he said, yeah, I'm just making a joke. And then I said, oh. And then he fucks off. Dude, how are you going to brainwash me if you insult us first? Is is it is it is there an approach like uh some sort of like 
you know, to like break us down and then build us back up? Negging? Is that negging? He's being tsundere? Are Scientologists tsundere? Strange tactics? Standard negging approach? Really? It 100% is? Wait, you think so? You think that's a tactic? No way. Dude, wait. Maybe it was a tactic. Dude, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold the fuck up. Okay. Oh my god, this is actually like giving me goosebumps, man. Okay, listen. This guy comes out, he's a total fucking asshole. Then he fucks off down the street. Then for whatever reason, out of nowhere, the sweetest, nicest young fella comes up and instantly says, Hey guys, I, I want to give you this personality test. Holy shit, man. They played us. Oh my god. Dude, we fucking ate it up, dude. He was the he was literally the nicest fucking guy. He he was he was this young, really cute, sweet gentleman and said, "Hey, I want to give you guys this personality test." And we fucking ate it up and I said, "Oh shit, yeah." Cuz we we had dinner reservations in a little bit and we had some time to kill. So I was like, "Dude, like fuck it, like let's let's just go in and do this." And Yan's Aww. like like, yeah, are, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, dude, let's just, like, let's just fucking go in. Like, what's the worst that can happen? Like, I kind of want to see what this is all about. So, dude, this guy brings us in, and he's so happy to show us whatever his his cult thing is or whatever. You know, it's kind of like when your son or daughter comes home, and they're, like, you know, showing off their new cult, and, and, and you know, all excited about it. So, you you feign ignorance, and you're like, oh, yeah, what's this? Like, who's Zenu? You know, how are my Dianetics? You know, that kind of thing. So they bring us in and they instantly give us like a uh, hand sanitizer and we wash our hands and they treat us really nice because on the inside is the nicest old lady. It's it like, it's like your aunt or like a grandma and she's so sweet and says here, honey, and gives you all of this hand sanitizer and then says, oh, would you guys mind putting on these, these latex gloves? And she's so nice that I didn't even think it was weird to put on latex gloves. I said, yeah, all right. I didn't think it was weird at all. She was so nice. So we put on the gloves and then she asks, what are your, what is your guys' relationship? I'm not giving this lady Listen, I trust these people as far as I can throw them. I'm not giving them anything, dude. So I said, oh, we're brother and sister. You know, that's what everyone thinks we are, me and Yen. You know, we're brother and sister. And she said, oh, that's so sweet. I said, yeah. More. Then she asked for our name. Now I'm in the, I'm in the mood to not divulge anything about myself, dude. You never know who's watching. You never know who's there. So dude, I kept it cool, man. More. This is just a fucking, you know, if you've been on the streets before, sometimes you gotta lie. She said, what's your name? I said, without it skipping a beat, I said, Roger. And I said, yo, Nyan, Nyan's cool. Like, she'll be able to think of something. You know, we've RP'd countless times. She'll, she'll be able to come up with something good. I said, yeah, my name's Roger. And she said, oh, that's great. And how about you, miss? Holy shit, man. Uh, I'm Natasha. Oh, Nice one, dude. Holy. F nice one, dude. Sick fucking name, bro.
Oh. Yeah, I know she wanted to say Randall. I mean, dude, it could have been any girl's name. It didn't have to start with an R. I don't know why. <laughs> She's so obsessed with alliteration. <laughs> it didn't need to be anything. Just anything that wouldn't dox yourself. <laughs> it almost would have been better if she just said her real fucking name, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. If, if there is like security footage of that interaction... You could probably see me audibly whispering, oh, for fuck's sake, after she said Natasha. What's your name, miss? I'm Natasha. Oh, for fuck's sake. More. Was she visibly sweating? Now, here's the thing, dude. I, I can keep it together. In those kind of situations, like if we're goofing, if we're if we're like fully acting, because in that moment I was just acting, right? I'm really good keeping character, but if I even saw Nyan in my peripherals, More. I would have lost my shit and cried laughing. So I did not look at her once, dude. The whole time we were in there, didn't look at her. If I did, game over. didn't even see her there More. now the lady's like you know we're, we're gonna take a personality test we're gonna take an iq test already i'm fucked okay don't want to take an iq test in front of any other people that sounds terrible More. but she says you know we're gonna have to you know sign you in and you're gonna come over here to the front desk and we're gonna sign you in and, and, and get you ready and i said okay cool and we have to sign in with our first and last name. Oh. Well shit, my name's Roger, and now I need to think of a last name. And now I have to make it so that Nyan can see my last name because I said we're brother and sister, so if she doesn't have the same last name as me, game over. Oh. So I tried to write something as simple as possible. So I just wrote Roger Ruper, and I tried to like shift it over so that Nyan could see it, and I could kind of see her looking at mine, but I could also see that she couldn't see everything in my last name because she wrote R-O and then just a bunch of squiggles <laughs> as if there was some earthquake that had just magically went off mid <laughs> mid word Roger she said your writing was terrible dude her I'm not gonna get triggered by that man Roger. Yeah, it's like she wrote a fucking record scratch. Yeah. It's like they had to censor her last name, dude. Like it had a, a slur in her name or something. Roger. Roger. Okay, so we write our names, whatever. The lady says, so this process is gonna be kind of long. It's gonna be about 30 to 40 minutes. And I said, whoa, that's a lot of time for a joke, dude. Listen, I'm committed to the bit. 30 minutes, kind of long. Now we had a dinner reservation in literally 10 minutes. If we didn't have that dinner reservation, I, I would have done it. I think Nyan would have been down to do it too. Cause like it, we were kind of getting into it. Like it was, I'm glad that we went in, but we honestly did have to leave in like five, 10 minutes. There's no way we could have done it. But if we didn't, I, I'm, I'm confident that, that, that we would have gotten it done. So I'm, I'm kind of bummed that it took that long. Did you blow a fat Xenu vape in her face and bolt? No, I, you know, the lady was really nice. So I didn't, I didn't want to be like a dick or anything once I was in there. You know, dude, listen, we all know Scientology is a fucking grift. It's fucking utter horseshit. Okay. I, I can say that confidently. 
but it's still just normal people in there, man. They just get wrapped up into it. Like, you can't hate on them, you know? As long as they're not hurting anybody, it, you know, it's fine. You know, she was a really nice lady. Now, is she getting scammed for the rest of her life? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is anyone that goes in there uh, an idiot? Yes, yeah, 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 I can say that. But she's a nice lady, man. So, hopefully, the next time we can actually do the interview because I want to see what is in the inner workings, man. I have to see what's on the inside. Whoa. So next time I'm, I'm doing it, dude. We're going in, infiltrating. I have to know. Because this personality test will tell you your strengths and weaknesses. So the idea is like they kind of wrap it up in like kind of fixing yourself and finding yourself. You have these weaknesses in your personality. Maybe you're not confident in this area. You don't know how to talk to people. Well, Scientology can fix that. So it doesn't seem that far-fetched, right? Like, oh, wow, that sounds kind of nice. Like, you know, I'd love to improve myself. That's how they Aww. get you. So I want to see if I can go through the whole process and not get got. Now, did they already get me with the, you know, the bait and switch and the good cap, bad cop? Yeah, they did. They got me good. Are they going to get me once I take the personality test and say, hey, if you do this, you know, one little Dianetic uh, research for the next two weeks, you can fix all of your, your, your faults? Is that going to get me? Maybe maybe now they do have my gloves they have all of my dna because we threw out the gloves in the trash bin do it online now funny you mentioned that partner i already got it lined up funny you mention it i gotta know man what are my weaknesses what does it mean to be alive Zenu. now do i feel like Zenu talks to me personally yeah i do and what is he saying read the vape people Rip the vape for Xenu. I want you to rip the vape. Okay. Rip it. Rip it for Xenu. Okay, hell yeah. Good. That's a good rip, Ethel. Say, why don't we go to Planet Vingong? Uh, okay. Thanks, Xenu. Thank you. Keep ripping, April. That's how they get you, man. That's how they get you. All right, bros. Man, we stalled for two hours. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, bros. Uh, let's run a quick scam. I'm going to use the restroom real fast. I got to pee really bad, man. Would you want Scientology to be real? Shit sounds scary as fuck. Dude, hell no. Honestly, Scientology test might be better than Dark Souls 2. Should we just do that instead? All right, we might do that instead. No? Okay. <laughs> You guys, you guys can decide while I'm gone. <clears throat> I'm down for anything, man. You got, you guys decide. We'll do whatever. I'm down for Dark Souls. I'm down for finding my faults. You want Dark Souls? Okay, okay. Every death he answers the question on the test. <laughs> Is we're doing with Yan? Otherwise, Dark Souls. Yeah, that would be fun if we took it at the same time. 